Welcome to another video. Today, well, it's been a quick trip this one. We're going out boat fishing. Uh, in leave at five o'clock. We're heading out there in about half. I'm getting picked up at about ten past four, which is about 40 minutes from now. It's half three. And we're going to be heading to Sunday Marina on board a boat called North Eastern Charters by Richie Carr. Now, it's a bit early really, but uh, it's been, they've been seeing on both reports, there's been a few fish being picked up on the boats. We're going to be doing mainly wrecking and mainly some ground. I'll get some videos if I can. It's going to be a flat day, so it should be hopefully up and down, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Took my tablets just in case, because I do get a bit of seasickness now and again, but not that bad. Uh, I'll give you a run down in the gear I'm going to be using. So the rundown, oh, this is the rundown of the gear I'm going to be using. I'm using this green box which is ideal for the boat. Easy to carry on, no it's not too big. Your scissors, your beer scissors, bits and bobs, discordia, a couple of shads in there, rhubarb and custard and a little bit of junky. It's just in that box. This bit, tea towel which is essential. Waterproof cook, it was forecast for like spitting a rain but it's changed. And here I've got some or perk back there. And here I've got some ball weights and some other weights. It's just 12 ounce. Get them myself. And here I've got various traces, which you'll see. And scales. That's all. And my baits downstairs, which I'll show you in a minute. Now the rods <coughs> is I've got. I've got two rods. I set them both up. I don't really use what the other one. It depends if I want to put a shadow on it, the light on. This one, which is a bit more play in it, it's just Abu 7. This is a 20 to 30 pound class. It's got a lovely nice tip on it, you know. Uh, with a, it's just a daft pen phantom. I'm going to use that. That's just that ready. Like that, as you can see. I'm going to be using that as my main one. The backup brigade, which I've just put new line on, which I'll use if I was wrong, I'll lose line. This is more like me strong, strong. This is my 30 pound class one. This is the AG7. This one has snapped. But it's been thinged and it's still a few for years and it works perfectly. That's just not a boost slosh on there. Dio slosh on there. I'll show you the bait I'm going to be using. This bait I'm using, I'm going to use a mussel. Pack it in. Using a kettle and a boat to defrost this. There's mackerel there, that's basically defrosted with the squid. That's squid, that's basically dead. Apart from that, that's bait I'm using. Thank you. 
watch this video on it. The city of Sunderland. When I'm cooking the fish, that's been good. So I'm cooking the fish. It's been in the fridge overnight. I've, I've slipped, left it dry. Use a paper towels and just dampen all the moisture off. Because if you don't dampen the moisture off, what happens is when you come to uh, cook it, the water inside makes the batter go soggy and it makes it splash, which makes all splash. So just dampen as much as you can out. Right, I'm going to straight up prepare this now. I might take quite. Don't judge. I'm not the best at this, but. I might just bones all down here, you can feel that. Normally you'd use a big one or two, and this is just crap. There's a load of mini bones under here. Right. As you can see, so it's gonna be I'm not the best, so don't judge us. Right. I'm just gonna make like a line down here. I, not, it's normally called I'm sure but chefs call it the V or something. V notch, and then I'm this this is useless here. So I'm just going to cut down the side of that like that. I mean, there'll be people probably screaming on the screen, what on earth are you doing, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's a good idea. I don't waste loads of fish, I get quite a bit of meat out of them, really. It's what I want. Stay that. And this might say, oh, that's mustard, that's a f mustard, that's a fillet and knife. It is. But we don't use it for fishing, we just use it for kitchen, like fishing, stuff like this. Just for fish. Uh, no, really there's no bone, there's a few bone, you might get the odd bone in the batter there. But not really. And this is just total meat from my point of view, so I'm feeling around, I can't feel any bones. No big bones at least. So now, to skin, because you've got the skin on the other side. It's coddling, just, I normally hold my hands like that, people, some people just do one. I like to get a couple of hands on, get your knife hand, and just turn the knife like that. Go in, back, keep going, keep going. And then you grab the you can grab the bit of meat if you can. It's a bit tentative. But you get a good grip. Just run the knife always away from you. And if you want, lift the bit of the fish up as well. So you can see that it's starting to come away from the skin. Next just do the same. And it comes easier, really easy. And then you just pull the skin back like that. You might if you do it extremely well, you shouldn't really lose any meat at all on the. F but you might lose a tiny bit, like like so that. But really, there's not much lost. For what, not for what there is. Yeah, just do that. And really, oh, turn that back over. That way, yeah. and I'll just run the knife along. And I'll just do that. Get that little bit off. There you go. Now that it's all meat. Now, remember, this is only two, this is about a cod, about two pound, two and a half pounds. So it's not too bad. And I'm going to cut one. You measure your fillets beforehand. So I'm going to go one. That's me going to be me other cut line. So I'm going to get three bits out like that. So I'm just going to run my knife straight down. One nice slice off with the meat up there. I've got my measure, measure mark again. Do the same there. And that I didn't get much. This is quite good compared to the other ones I made. But there's three nice bits of meat. Bring the camera along here. As you can see, this is the plate of all the meat. This is out of uh, six fillets. Plenty of meat there. Oh, but most of it's bone. This might be a few tiny bones in tiny, but you're not telling. No big bones. That's uh, three, no, two. That's two small fish, I mean, sorry. Is it? What's that? How many fillets? Three fillets. Three fillets of fish, this. So it's not too bad. Tiny bit of meat. And I've left a fillet for me, Dad, because he wants to do a pan fry, but I'm going to do this battered. And I'll show you what's going to happen next. 
Right, I'm just about to batter them now. I've put them in the batter mix of uh, soda water, self freezing and the salt and uh, black pepper. Here's the other already. We're going to go into there. Just, this is just a wok, but with a load of fat in and get ready to deep fry. That's one. I'm going to put three at a time in. Don't want to overcrowd the wok. Just shake them a bit so they don't stick to the bottom. And that is what they turned out like. These were a bit more well done compared to the other ones. The other ones that I give, I have for myself, I give my brother for, for myself. Nice and good, and he loved it. He, he had one, and he loved it, so I gave him the other three. We always had a couple. So it turned out like lovely, crispy batter. Really crisp. Quite dirty taste and batter, actually. That's where they came up. Like, that's hopefully that's a good video. Hope you enjoyed, and it took a bit of time to put together, but hopefully, you like and subscribe. And I'll be back next time with another video like this.